Hello everyone. Today we are going to speak about bubble sort. Bubble sort is one of the sorting algorithm that is used in computer science. So let's say we have an array like this and inside of this we have elements like 8, 4, 2, 1. So this particular array is not sorted. Now if we apply bubble sort algorithm on this, uh, the final output of the array would look like this. Now let me explain what bubble sort actually is. So in bubble sorting algorithm, what we do is we consider the first element and this particular element is compared with each of the uh, element apart from this in the array and, and we do multiple swap operations. So what do I mean by this is let's say eight is compared with four. Now eight is greater than four. So those two elements would be swapped. And in this way, what we do is we try to bring uh, bigger elements at the end of the array. So this is similar to, let's say we have a bucket of water and at the bottom of the bucket, we have multiple bubbles. So the bubble that would be the heaviest in weight would be coming to the surface first. So we are, we are, we are doing kind of same thing in the array. We are trying to bring uh, the element that is uh, bigger towards the end. So let me do an iteration with uh, the element eight and let me show how that particular element is pushed to the end of the array. So now in this iteration, eight is gonna get compared with four. And since eight is greater than four, we are gonna swap it. N now in the next iteration, eight is gonna get compared with two. And in the last iteration, eight is gonna get compared with one. As we can see now, eight is at its correct position. We wanted eight at the end of the array since it's the uh, biggest element in the array. Now we do the same thing by, by taking element four. So I'll write down the entire iteration of four and uh, I'll show how four is pushed to the end of the array. Now four is compared with two. Now four is, since four is greater than two, uh, we are going to swap elements. Then four is gonna get compared with one. Now four is gonna get compared with eight and since eight is already greater than four, uh, no swap operation is gonna happen. Then similar iterations, we do it with two and then we do it with one. And then we get the final output of the array like this. And the final output is the sorted array in an ascending order. So let us now switch to looking at the pseudo algorithm of bubble sort. So this is the pseudo algorithm. So in the first step, what we do is we have a for loop and that particular for loop is responsible for considering one element at a time. And the next for loop that we have, this particular for loop goes over each of the remaining element as I mentioned above. And we uh, do this comparison operate operation. The comparison is like this. If the element is greater than the next element that we have, then swap the element. So. Uh, this particular iterations that I was speaking about eight is compared with four, then eight is compared with two, and then eight is compared with one. So similar thing is, uh, is being explained by this, uh, pseudo code. Now let us look at uh, the time complexity of this pseudo code as well. Now, since we have two loops, this particular loop goes from one to N and this particular loop goes from zero to N minus one. So as we have two loops, uh, the time complexity of this particular uh, algorithm is going to come to big O of n square when, where n is the size of the array. And over here, uh, n value is equal to 4. So students, uh, this is the bubble sort algorithm and bubble sort has uh, many functionalities in computer science. Uh, it's used to sort files it used to sort disk space etc thank you